Hello and welcome everyone to our channel Cloud Seva in association with Janus which is also the official partner of AWS. So in this video we are going to get a small walkthrough about creating an account in Janus Cloud Academy from where we can also create an AWS Educate account which is a $100 free trial account designed for students and recent graduates from where we can learn and play around with the services of AWS. So now let's move on to the steps of signing Janus Cloud Academy account. So I click the sign up button right here. Okay, I'm going to give a username. I'm going to give a password right here. So I will be filling up my email address. So basically I will just copy this email address right here to confirm my email. So I will be providing the details of my name, my last name and choose the location of my country. I will enter my phone number as well as my landline number. I'll write my current address and I'll just be copying this once again and then choose my province number. I'll now fill up my citizenship number and click on my citizenship issue district and then enter my date of birth. I'll choose my cultural background and enter caller's name this is my graduation year you may have your own dates and time i'll click on my semester and choose my academic program i'll now choose my employment status and here you are asked if you have an aws educate account so i will be choosing no how did you come to know about this training I'll enter friends, internship and social media. In event location, I'll enter Teku, but you can choose your own location within Nepal. I don't have an event ID, so I'll be using the default one. So I understand and agree to the terms and condition and I will be creating my new account. So now an email has been sent to my mailing address, which is a confirmation email that I can log into my Janus Cloud Academy and finalize that I've successfully created the account. So once you wrap up with all the process of sign up, you will then get a similar email from Janus Cloud Academy confirming you for the sign up process and once you click on that email, you will see a redirecting URL and when you click on that URL, you will be confirmed as an official member of Janus Cloud. So here we go, it says registration has been confirmed. Now we can move on to the courses section of Janus Cloud Academy. Once you click there you will be taken into number of trainings and classes and webinars. I'll be just clicking on basic training so we can click on that. In this part it shows us the procedure for getting an AWS Educate account. So I'll be clicking on get access. Ok so here it says self enrollment. No enrollment key required. And I'll be clicking on enroll me. Ok, I'll be skipping the tour and here you are confirmed that you are enrolled in the course. The registration process, you can click on this one. In this space, we'll give you the walkthrough about getting an AWS Educate account. Once you apply, you will be getting an AWS Educate email from AWS itself. So basically, Janice here will act just as an educational portal that will help you verify with the AWS and make this process a little bit smoother. So going through this, you will be getting an email from AWS Educate. So once you have everything sorted out for the approval of AWS Educate account, you will receive a similar email as you can see on the screen from AWS Educate support. And once you click in here, it will take you to the sign in page for the AWS Educate. So basically, I'll just sign in with my AWS Educate account. So once I'm there, I'll be clicking on my AWS account right here. So I'll click on that and I'll be following the click to AWS Educate Starter account. So it is redirecting me to AWS for the vocarium. 
This is a platform used for the AWS Educate account, so you can see the detail of my account right here. You can see the AWS access. AWS starter account duration, there is a limited time and you can also use AWS CLI to link up with your AWS Educate account to your Windows or Linux terminal to learn the different commands of AWS. So I'll be moving on AWS console. So here we are on the page of AWS services. So let's click on S3. In this AWS Educate account, you will not gain the complete freedom of using everything. There will be some restriction as it is a free account. You will be getting a restriction on creating domain name servers and many more things. So you're on S3 bucket. I've created one bucket right here. And I've chosen the reason of my server to be US East North Virginia. And now, as you can see, you can access the services of AWS. Last but not the least, I want to thank all of our viewers for watching this video on our channel Cloud Saber. In association with Janus, which is also the official partner of AWS, and thank you for bringing this platform of AWS to the students and graduates who wants to learn AWS but have difficulty in fundings.